hello everyone welcome back to another brand new video of this channel uh, in this video i'm going to show you how you can download high resolution satellite imagery using qgis for our day-to-day -day uses uh, as a geographic information analyst or as a remote sensing analyst we often use very high resolution satellite imagery but often it is find is uh, often it is very difficult to find authentic sources from where we can download uh, satellite imageries with high resolution for our particular study area. So in this video, I'm going to show you some simple steps uh, by which you can download very high resolution imagery using QGIS. For this particular purpose, you will need a plugin called Type Plus. Uh, this plugin isn't usually available within uh, QGIS own plugin directory. You need to download it from a particular link. I will provide the link in the description box of this video. So let's get into this video uh, and we will I will show you the step by step process to how you can download uh, high resolution imageries using Tile Plus. So once you are into the QGIS uh, interface, you need to go to the plugin option from here from menu bar and then you will see the manage and plugin sorry manage and install plugins options and then you can have to click on here and now you will have to get into install from zip file so once you are here you will see a new box here you have to show the path where the plugin zip file is located uh, click onto this three dot icon uh, then you have to go to the directory where the zip file is located of the, of the plugin that I, I, I have mentioned. So my uh, pl plugin zip file is located in desktop uh, for uh, finding it easily. Uh, I already saved it in desktop so that I can show very easily in this video. So uh, this is the zip file of the plugin. So one, click on this and open. So uh, and now you have to click on this initial plugin option. So you can see that the plugin has been installed successfully. Now close close the uh, close this toolbox. Uh, then you'll see there is an icon. Uh, this is the Tile Plus uh, plugin which has been which uh, which has been installed uh, just now. And now click on here. Now you'll see there is a new interface will be coming on. And from here you have to select a map. You can select any map as per you your desire. Uh, like you can you can download any any maps uh, like Google Map, Google Terrain Maps, or E3 satellite or E3 light gray maps, whatever you want. For my particular case, I will be downloading Google Satellite. So click on Google Satellite and click on this plus icon. And here it is, the, the base map of Google Satellite. So now you have to select any particular study area for your case. So for my I study for my case, I might be choosing any study area within the UK. So if, uh, let's get them to Heathrow Airport. So this would be easier. Because, uh, so Heathrow Airport is the study area which we'll be downloading for our case. So once you are here, you have to set your study area within the interface. Uh, sorry, within the Canvas extent, and then you have to click on this Google Satellite layer. Right? option and from here you have to click on export and then save as so it is the save raster layer as a uh, tool uh, it is the usual tool which we how we uh, save our raster files or any vector file or any any kind of layer is in qgis so from here you have to first uncheck this option which is called create brt it will uh, usually save any raster file as virtual tile as well so you don't need that so uncheck it first, then you have to select your file format. So for my case, I might be, uh, I will be uh, export it as a GOT file. So if you can download it or you can, sorry, you can save it as any file format. It can be JPG, it can be um, PNG or any other file, or it can be also uh, it does image in file on file format dot, dot IMG. So for my case, I'll be downloading or sorry, uh, saving it as GOT file. And then you have to set the file of uh, name or in a particular folder where you will be saving the uh, the file. So maybe I'll be saving here in downloads uh, and then London folder. So it will call it. I will call it as uh, Heathrow. And then now you have to save 
uh, you have to uh, choose the CRS, that means uh, projected coordinate system. So for the Britain or UK, uh, the default coordinate system is uh, British National Grid. So you, you can see, click it, and then there will be a new error will be coming. You don't need to uh, like care about it. You need just you can just ignore it. And then you have to set the map canvas extent. So once you click on here, you will see uh, all the columns. Uh, will set to zero and rows will also be zero. So it is not a particular thing. So you have to set it as far as your own. You have to set your uh, resolution, raster resolution. Once you set your raster resolution, the columns and rows will be automatically set. So for my case, I will set the horizontal and also vertical resolution as 0 0.1, that means 10 centimeter. You can set up to anything you want but uh, I keep in mind that in, in for Google satellite uh, the highest resolution that is available is only 15 centimeter you can get up to 15 centimeter or anything more than that not anything less than that and then uh, one again so once you have uh, you, you have uh, set every uh, every parameter now you can just click on uh, okay. Then once you click on it, you will see that the file is uh, is is uh, will start uh, processing as uh, will, uh, the file will be start exporting. So it will take uh, for uh, it takes some time, uh, maybe uh, five or six minutes, depending on the speed of your processor. For some processor, it might take around one minute or two minutes. But in most cases, uh, if you are using laptop or any normal desktop, it will uh, take around. Uh, five or six minutes. So I will uh, continue back again once the file is downloaded. So once the imagery is exported, it will automatically be displayed on the map. Uh, now you would also see a window uh, to which will ask you to uh, set any transformation coordinate system. So you don't need to do anything here, just click on OK. And now yeah, we can uh, check the quality of the exported image if we want. So zoom in wherever you want, you can see that uh, how much better quality uh, the imagery is. So if you want to check the, uh, the resolution in the properties, you just right click on here and go to the properties. Uh, scroll down and you see the pixel size is 0 0.1. That means 10 centimeter, which is set earlier. Uh, uh, if you want to compare with, with the base map, uh, uncheck both the base map and the raster. Uh, uncheck it fast. See, it's the, actually the same as the base map. So in this way, you can export, you can download any high resolution imagery for your particular study area. And most interesting fact is that this uh, imagery is automatically georeferenced. So you don't need to uh, do anything. Like you don't need to uh, georeference it manually after you after the work is completed. So if you uh, if this video is helpful for you or if you find this video useful, uh, please don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.